it going? In today's tutorial, I'm going to be covering uh, my design on a ceramic tile. And these are awesome for a few reasons. One being that you can turn these into coaster sets, which is very cool and makes the perfect gift for the upcoming holiday season, or maybe an upcoming craft sale that you're having, or even a housewarming gift. My friend Melanie Simpson even told me about some cork backing that you can buy. You'll have to look them up, but I found one that was like 60 cork backings for around $20. So it was about 30-ish cents each. So not bad at all. And another reason that I think they are awesome is the fact that you don't have to varnish them if you use the right paint. Now, that paint I'm referring to is an enamel paint or a multi-surface paint. Now these can be baked on in a regular oven, nothing fancy, no special oven, just a regular old oven. Now you need to check on your particular brand that you're using for the uh, specific um, curing and baking times. But for these, you just let them cure for a few days and then you pop them in the oven for a half an hour, no big deal. And they're done and the paint is on permanently. So you won't have to worry about the paint lifting. So it's awesome, I love these things. So if you're interested in seeing how to make this design, then keep watching. Here are the colors that I used, and here is the ceramic tile. It's four and a quarter inches. And get this, I think I only paid like 16 cents for this thing. Home Depot or any kind of um, home store should have uh, ceramic tiles. Now I'm just gonna mark the center mark with a dry erase marker. And I will do more guidelines than that here after I get my center mark and get it dried. So I'm starting off with some um, gloss enamel paint in white. And this is from DecoArt. You want to make sure the bottom of your tool is completely covered in paint. And go on and erase the center lines there. And that way you can place your first dot. Now I'm using my dark purple tool for this. And then um, you can erase off the rest of the guidelines once your center dot is dried. Moving forward, I am grabbing my 12 inch, I'm sorry, 12 slice stencil. And I'm just going to put six guidelines. So it's every other guideline. I just want six little guidelines just to kind of guide my first few dots here. Now I'm going with my uh, size 5 or my largest nail stylus or embossing tool. And I'm going to put a dot right around that center dot as close as I can get it right where each of the lines are so six dots around your center dot there and then I'm just going to erase off the rest of the guidelines because I don't no longer need them now if you want you can leave them on you can draw draw on full guidelines that's personal preference and completely up to you and then I go ahead and dot right in between each of those for a total of 12 dots around the center Moving on to my next tool, which is my smallest wooden dowel. It's the white tip tool. I go ahead and put a crisscross and dots, and then I'm just going to fill in the spaces. Larger dots here are right in between on the outside edge of that first ring of dots. Just like that. Next, I am moving on to the DecoArt um, Red, True Red Gloss Enamel Paint, and I'm using my light purple tool. I'm going to go with a total of six dots around that second row of dots there. And I just absolutely love this red. It's so vibrant, and it dries just as vibrant. I love, love it. I want um, a few different shades of this red, so I'm going to go on and add some white of the gloss enamel paint to the red gloss enamel paint, so it works. And I'm just going to get two different values there of the red, so it's some pink and um, some light pink and some darker pink. And then just go ahead and grab your largest nail stylus or embossing tool and put one dot on the center outer edge and then go on and dot all the way down, hugging that big dot circle there. And dot all the way down, and then go ahead and dip your tool, redot that first initial dot, and then go ahead and dot all the way down the other side. And you may not get, you know, you may want to get four dots or five dots, it's however many you feel comfortable in squeezing in there. 
moving on back to that same white tool it's a very smallest wooden dial that I have and I'm going with the uh, the darker value there of the, of the two pinks and I'm going to put one initial dot right on that outer edge right above that larger dot there and go ahead and get you some paint on there and dot right next to that larger dot and then just hug the curve all the way down one side and then re-dip your tool in paint it's really important to reload your paint and then go ahead and dot all the way down the other side so you just want to kind of get in as close as you can but again it's just as comfortable as you feel is uh, is what will determine on how close you get so it's really starting to look like a flower in like flower petals It's a beautiful design no matter what. Don't worry about the little mistakes that you may make here. I know a lot of people get discouraged and you really shouldn't because the more you practice, the better you'll get at it. And it should just be for, you know, for relaxing and just enjoying some alone time where you don't have to think about anything else. Just dotting. All right, this is my um, blue tool. It's my dark blue tool. It's just the next size up and I make one dot with the original red color so the full-on red right at the tips and then I'm gonna go ahead and take my white tool and place dots right next to those and then we're going to dot from there all the way down with the size 5 or the largest nail stylus again so just like before, just like we've been doing here, go ahead and fit however many in as you can fit comfortably. And some of the gaps may be a little larger and you can, you can dot all the way down. And some of the gaps may be a little tighter and you can only get a few in. But don't worry about it being perfect. Um, it's still going to be beautiful, I guarantee it. So keep on going. Don't give up, just keep on dotting. And then you're going to have some thicker petals here. All right, and now we're going to move on to the Coffee Bean Color by Deco Art. And this is a satin multi surface paint. I'm using my light purple tool. You want to get your tool good and loaded again full load on the bottom you don't want any of the tool to stick through all right and then just kind of stick it right down in between each of the little petals there and make a dot now I'm going to do that same thing that I did with the red and I'm going to get some different shades of the brown here so one I want a little lighter and one a little darker and then we're just going to be doing that same process we're going to just try to line up the center as best as you can. Make one initial dot and then dot down one side. Redip your tool. Redot that first initial dot and then dot all the way down the other side. And then you can't get too many in here, or at least I couldn't at this point. I could only get about three or four down each side. And this is with the lightest shade of brown that we've made. And then for the next row, go ahead and grab your um, larger tool there, the smallest wooden dowel, the white tool. Put that one first initial dot there right in the center. Just kind of line it up as best as you can. And then grab your size 5 again of your nail stylus and then dot all the way down one side and then re-dip it and then dot all the way down the other side with that same um, darker shade that we have made with the white and brown. And then moving on, once you're done with those, I grabbed my dark blue tool and I'm going to make that first initial dot right in the center. And then I'm going to just do the same thing. Grab the white tool, the smallest wooden dowel, and then just just like before, make 
a dot right to each side of that larger dot. Okay, and do that to the, each of the ends there, each of the little petals. And this is back with that same dark brown, by the way, the original coffee bean color. And grab your nail stylus, the largest one, and go ahead and dot down each side, getting down to the base of the previous petals. So all the way down one side and then re-dip your tool in the paint. Important to reload your tool and then go ahead and dot down the other side. Using my light purple tool here, going with some white gloss enamel paint here, just go right in between each of the petals. And then I'm switching over to a beautiful color. It's called Antique Gold and it's Americana Gloss Enamel Paint. Grab your largest nail stylus and make your first initial dot and then dot all the way down, hugging that dot down one side. Again, it is important to reload your tool, so re-dip your tool in some paint, and then dot down the other side. And then you're going to do that all the way around to each of those white dots. Next, I'm going to grab my size 3 nail stylus or embossing tool, and I'm just going to put a small amount, just a small dot right on each of those dots on that first center row. So you want to leave a little bit of the white dot showing behind it, a, a, like a ring around, but I'm just going to dot, make a smaller dot right in the center. And then I'm going to do that same thing with the next row. I'm going to use my size 5, which is my largest, and I'm going to put a dot right in between, or right in the middle of each of those dots there on the second row. I just thought that that looked really pretty to bring that gold right into the center. All right, moving on. Um, grab your very smallest wooden dowel, which to me is my white tool, and I make one dot on the outer edge, just like before. Feel free to pause this at any point, and uh, that way you can catch up. I just kind of have to speed through these because if not, it would be, you know, an hour-long tutorial. A few of you would be annoyed <laughs> with sitting through an hour-long tutorial. Um, all right, moving on to my dark blue um, wooden dowel tool. And I'm going to make that first initial dot on the edge of each of the petals, followed by the smallest wooden dowel, which is the white one, with dots next to each of the larger dots. And then again, the size 5 or the largest nail stylus and dot all the way down each side. So now these beautiful gold petals are getting way thicker and really looking beautiful. Now I just wanted to stop just kind of to show you real quick how easy it is to remove this paint. You just dampen a um, cotton swab and just rub it off. No problem at all. I love, love that part too of painting on these ceramic tiles. Super easy cleanup. All right, now we finish up this last petal here. Okay, so that's how it looks at this point. I'm going on with my um, my pink tool, and I'm going to go ahead and put a dot right in the center. And I'm going to use that same tool and put one um, top dot on each of the large white dots on the outer petals there. So again, just kind of leave a ring of white and have your center but use that gold color. And a size 5 is what I'm using here, and I'm just going to dot down on the larger outer um, row of dots on the outer petals. So I'm kind of mixing up the white with the gold, so like the opposite of what I did in the center. And you can really play with this however you like. You can leave it without those dots. You can add more dots, you could do less dots, you could just do the, um, the center dots, or you could do it like this and have um, kind of like a triangle design of white top dots on the edges of the petals. I just wanted to kind of show you here several different ways you could do it. So you could leave it like that, or you could go ahead and walk some down. Um, just it just depends on how you like it. So I decided that I did like it with them um, quite covered 
uh, not all the way down for the two outer rings and then I did just leave the inner ring uh, solid gold. I really thought that the contrast of those two colors was was really nice. Um, I'm going to go ahead with my light purple tool going back with that red the full-on true red color and I'm just going to put a dot next to each of the gold petals all the way around I didn't want to top dot the red with anything. I just wanted to leave that bright pop of red. I, I love that. I think that really makes the whole design stand out. And now I'm moving on to a size two nail stylus or just one of the smaller nail stylus that you have. Make a little swipe. So you just wanna dot your tool and then push down like you're gonna make a dot and then just pull it right out. And it'll just make a little tiny swipe for you. Hey, I, I hope you liked this tutorial. If you did like this tutorial, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you as a subscriber. And there it is close up. Thanks guys for watching. See you next time.